What's up, nerdlings? What up, nerdlings? It's a new month, which means a new box. Do you nerd for video games monthly? What's up, guys? This is Jay from the Game Chasers, and you are watching Do You Nerd? Video Games Monthly is the monthly subscription service that sends a box of video games straight to your door. You hop on their website, you pick a tier, however many games you want to get, they've got a couple to choose from. You fill out a list telling them which systems you want games for, as well as which games you already have to avoid any duplicates. And each month, they send you a little parcel of love. Is it delivered personally by ya boy Floyd? That would be pretty cool. That would be pretty cool. Get on that, Floyd. Admit. Some heft to this it one. Sounded like a board game in there. Oh great, now they're all broken. Why are my games broken, video games monthly? <laughs> Get on like this. There's your boy Floyd. Alright. Lady Lacey likes to hand these off to me so I can't see them. I do. Sometimes she gives me some hints to try to guess what they are. Oh, oh, look at this! They've got new business cards. How fancy. It says you share what you get in your box on their social media and you could win some extra games. Who doesn't like extra games? You want to know what the toy is or the free packing is? It's not a toy. I don't know why I call it a toy. <laughs> is this a Happy Meal? Squirtle, Squirtle. Is it a Pokemon? <laughs> it's a Pokemon pencil. I love Squirtle. <laughs> and it is Squirtle on there. Oh, isn't that cute? And there's something for you and something for me. Games? No, more packing stuff. Uh, bubble wrap for you? <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to get a tattoo of this, but changed my mind. Oh gosh. It could be X. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> The Shika Slate symbol. Yeah, you were pretty hung up on that for a while. Uh huh. That's a cool sticker, though. I have a rule, though. You sit on a tattoo for a year, and after a year, if you still want it, then it's probably okay to get. So you get it on your butt? No. You said you sit on it. You know what I mean. Aw, uh, like it's Young Link, and he's playing his little ocarina. You may call me old man. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Uh... Old man. You may call me old man. I did. You are Link. We didn't get any one-ups or any ups. The stickers don't make up for that, guys. We got power up. Sweet, new power up. Oh God, none of this feels right. <laughs> so they've changed their cards, it Maybe looks like. Maybe it's cheaper to print them. Smaller. Makes more sense. So, power up. You have received many free games. Many, Ooh. many, 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 Ooh. many. Some, some lots of games. That's not a joke box, so I hope they're good games. All right. Well, we have a handheld game here. Okay. Lots of handheld love from VGM. That's what she said. <laughs> and it's a, a Sega game. So, I'm guessing it's a Game Gear it game. It's a Game Gear game. Okay, always like to get these. <laughs> I'm gonna try to do a, my a, my best impression. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, either you're a dolphin or you're Chanel West Coast from Ridiculousness. <laughs> <laughs> the first one. <laughs> I, I I would imagine so. I don't think that girl was alive when the game gear was a fit. <laughs> Echo the Dolphin on Game Gear, this could be cool. If nothing else, the Echo games were always gorgeous on the Genesis. So I'm very curious to see how good this looks on the Game Gear. Game Gear had some pretty nice looking games at times. Okay, now we have a Nintendo handheld game. Game Boy? Yes. Okay. And I have no idea what this is. There's a little kid on here who looks like he's impersonating Ness. 
and a penguin. <laughs> Sounds like a drug trip. <laughs> it kind of looks like he's on drugs. Okay, so it looks like we have a Japanese Game Boy game. Is that Niku? Niku from Tomi. I don't know. Yeah, well, this will be curious to check out. Um, you never know what you're going to get with a Japanese game. It's like, is it Mahjong? Is it a visual novel? <laughs> is it something I can play? <laughs> we have one more handheld. Okay. It's also a Nintendo one. Okay. But it's a little smaller. Well, I'm not signed up for the DS, so it must be Game Boy Advance. Yes. And it's a new game that just came out with a skateboard dude. <laughs> Tony Hawk? Yeah. I think we got a Tony Hawk game from them last month. <laughs> <laughs> Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4. Four. Interesting on Game Boy Advance. I'm curious to see how they would do that. I'm, on Game Boy Advance, I don't think they would go side-scroller. So maybe uh, they might do some kind of pseudo 3D look to it. I'm surprised that they're giving away the Tony Hawk games because typically, whenever you have a new game come out in a franchise, everybody wants what everyone been wants out. the old ones, mm -hmm. yeah. And then you see the prices hike up, and yeah. but they're just giving these away, guys. Well, now we have a <laughs> Japanese N64. Okay. <laughs> and this is for all the players hoping to touch the inter true entertainment. I I wasn't sure where you were going with that one. <laughs> and. Uh, this kind of involves a sport that Jamie from the Button Bashers wants a new game of. Uh, golf? Yeah. He's, he's obsessed with yes. golf. Yes. I am in the beautiful sea houses. Golf country. Yeah, look at this. Glorious. Glorious. Oh gosh, I don't... I don't know of any golf games on the 64. Did they do like a Pebble Creek? Like a Wally Lee Lee Lee? Was, I'm sorry, did you have a stroke? Yes. Okay, no. <laughs> it's a me, a Mario. It's a Mario golf. <laughs> the nice thing is, being a golf game and being a Mario, I mean, you know who your people are. It's golf. You can pretty much figure out how to play this with the Japanese version. So this will be neat, actually. The, uh, the Mario sports games are usually a lot of fun. <laughs> we have a Nintendo game here, and it's in a box or clamshell. Okay. So it's, we've got a GameCube here. Okay, nice. I like to get GameCube games. And there's four fantastic people on it. <laughs> <laughs> well, Riddler, <laughs> let me just give up now. I guess, I guess. Oh my gosh, it's a fantastic four. It's a fantastic four. <laughs> Hey, look, guys. Manual. Disc. Um, this looks like it was never played. And since it's Fantastic Four, that may be why. Hey, but they're no longer the worst Fantastic Four movie out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> why does this always happen to me? I do like seeing this. Two, Two player, players yeah. simultaneous. So a co-op I'm co kind of game. interested in checking this out, especially if I can play as the uh, Invisible Woman. It honestly looks like just a standard 3D beat-em-up. Uh, it kind of looks like, a, like a, a level from the Marvel Ultimate Alliance. I could kind of see that. Like if you get to play as the Fantastic Four. And it says that the actors who were in the film actually did the voices. So look, nice. we've got Captain America doing a voice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you ready for your last game? What is this? 
Five games, six games? Nice! All right, this is a uh, Sega. <laughs> Sega Genesis here, and it is completing Claim Shell. Very nice. And it has. They've, they've little, been building up our Genesis it's collection. It's got the I little like tabby that. on top. That's that's not much of a hint to go off of. No, but tab I like it. the game. <laughs> well, Spot had a game. So uh, this isn't from that franchise, but it has to do with things that Tony's new child's name is from top gun yes but what do the top gun people do have a need for speed <laughs> they flew jets yes they flew fighter jets <laughs> air diver f-119 stealth fighter simulation so this is a sim flight game you have been selected for a mission of the utmost secrecy. Your mission is to find and eliminate the enemy terrorists. They are extremely well armed, and Central Intelligence informs us that they may have the backing of several unfriendly extraterrestrial nations. Uh, okay, that took a turn. So at first it just seemed like you're chasing down terrorists, and now it's aliens! No, okay, I'm not saying it's space aliens, right? But it goes without saying it's... Space aliens! Look at that. Manual, cartridge, another complete one. Very nice. You know, the... It's flying. I don't know what's happening there. <laughs> Some of the, uh, the sim flying games, I actually always thought they were pretty cool because I liked whenever they would utilize you know, the whole cockpit and, like, your dashboard of everything, all of your... Uh, you got all the gauges and... Yeah. Horizons. Your heads-up display stuff was worked into the dashboard. I like that. That's clever. I don't... I think that's why I could never be a pilot, because if I see a toggle or a button, I always have to push it or and, flick it. And there goes Coach. Goodbye! <laughs> and I'm like, hey, what does this button do? What does this do? What does this do? So, yeah, that's why I'm not a pilot. <laughs> 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 if she's flying your plane, you don't need Homelander around, do you? Oh. I laser every one of you. Well, this was a very nice box. Nice. This is a great power up. Nice power up. You know, the stickers like like we normally do, probably turn those into some magnets, toss them on the door. That'll be great. Nice magnet. And having uh, a game that we can play together. I know, I'm looking nice. forward to checking that uh, out. Some Japanese games to check out and see what's going on. <laughs> but look at this, uh, a nice bit of Sega and Nintendo love. Always good to see. Mm -hmm, you always know, mm -hmm. like to see them, you know, playing nice. Can they Can they play nice now? Do you think they can play nice? Uh, Sega Head doesn't think so. Oh. <laughs> we all know who is better. Well, all right. We've got quite a few games to go check out. Yeah. So, nerdlings, please give the video a like if you happen to like it. Drop some comments about any of these games. Maybe this one isn't so bad. I'm actually curious to try this out, and I think it's because of that co-op aspect. Yes. It's always fun to check out a game with someone. So, be sure to subscribe. Hit the notification bell. You never know when we'll be opening up another VGM. Next month. Next month. Spoilers. <laughs> Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Head over to Tee Public because we've got merchandise over there. Hit us up on the Retro Refresh, and if we like it... We nerd it, even for the forgotten first family of Marvel. Oh, <laughs> MCU will take care of you. Knuckle time! The crack in your knuckle. It's not knuckle time, it's clobbering time. By nerdlings. By nerdlings. Clobbering. Clobber time. You saw it here, Captain Algebra didn't lie, she beats me. <laughs> nerdlings help.
All I can think of is a song. It's a new dawn. It's a new day. <laughs> they send you a little parcel of love. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Shut up, Paul. Nobody asked you. Try this again, ready? Yep. Uh huh.